hey welcome back in this class i'm going to start doing the chair but before that let's uh, solve a problem uh, let's say you want to rotate this table by just selecting all these parts and rotating by just the rotate tool if you try to do this you will see something like this it's because every piece is a uh, like individual different piece and they are rotating from their pivot point okay from their center right now so the solution is to uh, there are two solutions either you can combine all these things by just select everything and go to mess and combine when you combine it becomes one object and it has one transform node right now so now it has only one rotate tool now it's you can see it's fixed and the other one the other way is to grouping so let's undo it just control z or click here to undo uh, now you can uh, group as well so go to edit and group so this is the second way when you group it's not exactly like combine uh, it looks like combine but if you like click outside deselect the object and then click any of the part it's still they are individual they are not attached somehow so but they are in a group node if you go to window menu and outliner so this is a list view of your Maya scene you can see there's a group so group is like a folder and inside that folder or group we have our uh, objects the all the pieces there okay so but when you combine when you combine you you lose that thing you cannot select one piece right now so you can see it's now one single object okay so in this case we can combine it there's no problem we don't need uh, to keep individual objects we can combine it but there are some cases we need to groove okay so don't worry about that now just combine uh, sorry let's undo it so there are some history connected so go to select and go to edit delete all by type or delete by type history so when you apply some tools and techniques on object you get some history and sometimes you need to clear those out and now i have some empty groove here so just select and delete from your keyboard so this is my object and let's drag it and close it and now it's fixed we can rotate we can scale it now it's a single object and now the second thing i'm going to do is putting it into a layer so that i can easily hide it so let's select it and click on this icon the fourth icon there are four icons click on the last icon uh, but uh, before you click make sure you have selected it so once it's selected click on this icon now if you click on this v icon it's gonna toggle the visibility okay you can easily hide your object and now i'm going to do the chair so let's see I'm going to do this base uh, in this class so let's do this uh, leg first so you can start from anywhere any part uh, but make sure you plan it uh, like I have planned to make these legs are different these sides are different parts so let's take a cube and now it's set to that interactive creation so let me turn off that go to polygon primitive turn off that okay so i have this go to select tool yeah this is my cube let's go to scale tool the shortcut is r okay and then just scale it scale from the center to like make it small overall then stretch it you can do this okay this is let's say one leg and if you check the image it's again like narrow towards the bottom here a little bit narrowing i think and it's a straight leg let's go to scale tool and let's make it a little smaller 
always try to make your object at the center at the center of the grid here okay this is my one leg then let's duplicate that side let's uh, go to pivot mode by pressing d and then click on this icon snap to grid option then just drag from here to here then press d again turn off this icon okay now the pivot is at the center then i can just duplicate it go to edit duplicate the object new object is there and let's put some value here let's put minus you don't have to put minus one all the time just put minus value to the existing value there okay so it flips there so this is my front leg and let's duplicate these legs to create this this back leg you can see the back leg is not straight like the front leg it's kind of like going in an angle and this area of this leg is straight so it's kind of angle then straight then again going backward so let's duplicate this two object here so let's duplicate it let's say this is my chair front and this is the back side so let's duplicate okay and okay the height is same now now i can do one thing i can just add some edges here so i can do one thing let's delete one and let's put an edge here so again i i don't have the inputs right now because it's a duplicated object and the inputs are gone so I can use a tool called insert as loop tool just go to mesh tools and choose the insert as loop option okay then you can drag on the edge here to get a horizontal line so just drag hold your left mouse and drag you can see I'm dragging I, still I have uh, holding the left mouse button so just put here let's say here okay and then let's go to the vertex mode so shift right, uh, sorry right click go to vertex mode select all these four vertices and let's take the move tool and move them backward so i'm trying to create this angle and the straight shape here so the leg was straight so this area is straight you can see going up down and this is going backward okay and then the top part would be like the this face let's select this face and go to edit mesh and extrude it so extrude when you extrude and move you can see this is the extrude manipulator just move this act from this axis towards top okay and again we can move like this this is the chair going back you can always whenever you do look at your object from orthographic views like front or side so this is my chair it should it should be balanced here it shouldn't be like this like this with this one okay and i think that's becoming a little narrow narrow towards this top maybe a little bit okay so let's check yeah it's becoming narrow towards this side and i don't think it's becoming narrow from all axis so let's undo i think it's just becoming narrow from this axis only here So this is my leg now i'm going to just give some bevel edge option so let's yeah let's go to edge mode select everything and go to edit mesh bevel let's put some bevel to capture the highlight so never ever like keep hard edge unless it's a very uh, distance object so if the object is distance to your camera or you know uh, as a background object you can let that so let's 
decrease this fraction to like narrow this bevel and let's add some segments to make it round okay so let's do the same thing with these two we can combine now i think let's combine them make it one piece whenever you combine make sure to delete the history it's a good practice because when you combine the history is there sometimes it you know create some problem so just select everything now edit mesh and do the same thing if you can put the same thickness that's good segments so that it matches with the with this leg okay now i'm going to duplicate it i think the pivot is at the right location it doesn't have to be here exactly if it's in this on this line it's fine because i'm going to i want this object this side so this pivot should be anywhere on this line okay so let's select and duplicate it go to edit duplicate you can use ctrl d so once it duplicate put minus value here whatever the value is there just just put minus okay so this is the frame okay then we can just create these things easily by just i can again easily select it and let's make this live object okay just click here now this object is a live object now let's go to create polygon primitives turn on this interactive creation then bring this cube and just drag on this area so make sure you are dragging on the flat area then okay like this then turn off this option then we can again just select these edges i don't have to do these things but if you want to we can do this so let's select this edit mesh and bevel same thing fraction so add some fraction here okay now again let's go to top view bring the pivot to this line so let's press d to go to the pivot mode then turn on this option move let's see turn off Control d to duplicate i'm using the shortcut for the duplicate then just put minus one okay so this is then i can just duplicate it Control d again and this time i'm going to rotate it i'm going to rotate it 90 degree exactly 90 degree so just rotate it and then put here 90 minus 90 i think yeah it's not at the proper right uh, right location so just move it a little bit and then in this in this case i'm not going to i'm not going to flip something because it's not at the center right now so just duplicate and move it somewhere here okay i think that's the right location let's check no i think this wood should be connected here somewhere okay doesn't matter just the framework okay so that's it for this class and in the next class we are going to complete this thing